Yeah, the biggest time consuming right now, I think, is the fact that the majority of them, over 90%, are two story steep. Okay. Yeah, those so are challenging. There's, there's no way around that. <laughs> <laughs> if only yeah, there was some I tiny story, helicopter. I get so excited. Yeah, uh, right, right. Well, and, and you know what? This is this is one of those things, right? Um, you're in a neighborhood or you're finding yourself in some neighborhoods where it's, you know, the houses are all two stories deep and maybe they're all 110 years old or they're all like brand spanking new, right? A lot of the stuff from the 70s and the, the middle of the 20th century are a lot more low slope stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But then, you know, you could go get deployed someplace else or get a whole new batch of claims in a different neighborhood and they're all 412 ranches, right? Right. And that's, yeah. it's, that's a wonderful thing. Um, so are those, are they older houses? Um, no, this market here, so I'm in the Charlotte area and there's okay. so many new developments in the past yeah. 10 years we've exploded in Charlotte. So, yeah. um, a yeah. lot of, I mean, some of them are huge, uh, you know, over 7,000 square foot homes. Dang. So you, yeah. so you live in Charlotte or near Charlotte, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So you're, so you're able to work from home basically. Right now. Yeah. So it's one of the questions I, I want to throw at you because you have experience yeah. speaking with other adjusters. Um, but I got this opportunity to do daily claims here. Um, I like the company. It's not a whole lot of food right now, but it does. It's, it's more than I was making in my previous sales job. So it's still really well. Sure. It's just not that deployment, uh, cat money. Right. But that deployment right. cat money also comes with the travel and away from family. And, um, s m from speaking with other individuals, sometimes you don't know what you're going to get until you're out there. So right. are you going to get the 15,000 in one week or is it going to be 2,500 in a week? Right. Right. Yep. So are you, are you interested or willing to do cat? And, and like, if they sent you to New Mexico or to Minneapolis or whatever. Yeah, that's all I did last year. Um, and I mean, being away from family for three months was definitely had its challenging time times, sure. but it also allowed me to work more because it was less distractions. So oh, yes, especially on that component, <laughs> right on that component, yep. you know, being able to just come home, um, you know, I just, if, if I was hungry, I just, you know, throw a patty on the stove, eat that real quick, get yep. to work. And, you know, it's not, Hey, there's something wrong with the stove or, or, Hey, there's a leak in the kitchen. Can you fix this? Right. All, All these right. things that I'm doing constantly here, which is, it's fine. It's my, my duty. I get it. Um, but to maximize that component pay, especially on a cat wow. event. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, for sure. Well, I, I think that, you know, it, guys on Reddit, Facebook or whatever, um, you know, I'm not going to like, I don't want to paint with too broad a brush, but I, I, I personally find that a lot of people that are on social media, um, talking about how much this work sucks or how slow it is or whatever, aren't working. Whereas you're working, right? I mean, you're, you're, you've got claims and you're at home, which is, it's, it's rare, but for good adjusters, it's not that rare. Most good adjusters are kept busy. Do you know what I'm saying? So it says something about yeah. your skills so far. Um, I think that you're, you're able to be busy right now because it really, it, it is the slow time of the year. Um, and I think that, you know, even with daily claims, daily claims or cat claims, they are, you're, you don't know what you're going to get, right? You could get, like, you've got a bunch of two-story steeps, which suck, right? And it's, they're hard to do, they're time-consuming, it's dangerous, so on and so forth. Um, but it's, it's always going to be that way. And when you do cat, um, you know, I think with, with daily, especially you, you start to get to know the area, you're, you're meeting the same contractors over and over again, right? So you're starting to get to know, like, people and you see, you see the same dude, you know, on like a half a dozen houses over the course of a couple of months. And 
you know, you're, you're, it's not confrontational. There's zero stress because you, you, he's a known quantity. Um, uh, but I, I would say in general that the, the, the expectation that a, a independent needs to have is that it's a volume play, right? So you might get, you know, the next storm you go on, they might call you and say, Hey, you know, we've got a sewer back up in wherever St. Louis and, uh, they're not very big, right? Or the limit's only $5,000 or ten dollars or $15,000. So the claims are all kind of capped a little bit. Um, and you you make okay money, right? You're not making $15,000 $15, in a week. Maybe you're making $3,500 in a week or $6,500. Um, but then the next storm might be, you know, Oklahoma City gets smashed with three and a half inch hail. And it's all one story ranches, right? That's, I mean, that's the one I prayed for all the time, right? <laughs> And, you know, you might work half the summer doing that one and then a hurricane hits. Right. Yeah. But the key, the key thing to remember is, is that it, it is, it's still a volume play. So you're not, you're not really looking at like, you know, you can have like your highs and your peaks and your valleys or whatever, but you're always kind of keeping your eye on the average. Right. And the average, um, whether the average is decent, or great, or kind of sucky, it doesn't matter a whole lot when you do a lot of claims. Right. So that's where, you know, yeah. your, your instincts are correct and you wanting, wanting to optimize, not just for like this week, but like for this year, you want to optimize right. your efficiencies so that you're, you know, you, you end the, the year, not totally like beat up, right? Like you just ran three marathons back to back and you didn't train for yeah. them. Um, but you're ending it with like, you know, brush your pants off and like, roll your shoulders a couple of times and then take the family to the beach for a couple of weeks, you know, and, and just kind of yeah. compress. Um, that's what you want to do. And, you know, th as you grow your, your skills, building efficiencies, timing things, right. Looking, always looking for places where you can, you know, uh, maximize that efficiency. And, and again, I mean, a big one, anytime, not just the night before, like when you get the file or whatever, but like anytime you're in that file, that one individual file, how, I, how far can I take this? What's, what's everything that I can do right now? Doing that kind of thing helps you. It's like, I always, I always said like, it depending on whether I was one of the procrastinated and not doing anything or I wanted to like, you know, set my next day up for like to be easier. I would call that tomorrow man, right? So I would say, I'm gonna leave in that one for tomorrow, Mr. Tomorrow man, right? Um, <laughs> or, I know that tomorrow man's going to love yesterday, man. <laughs> if I do, if I do, 100%. if I go ahead and label all these photos and get this thing wrapped up, I know I can, do, I have everything I need to close this file. Let's just take 45 minutes and do it. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three level house in exact mate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Haig Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Haig Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for, and everything else. Looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at hageeducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.